The Kuwait National Development Plan sets the nation's long-term development priorities. It's organized around seven pillars or areas of focus for investment and improvement. Economy Develop a prosperous and diversified economy to reduce the country's dependence on oil export revenues. Seventy-two years after the first cargo shipment of Kuwait export crude, Kuwait now started exporting its super light crude oil with 48 to the world. So far, Kuwait was producing just one type of oil with 31 and 2.5 percent sulfur. Now it will be able to export a much lighter type, which commands a premium of over $5 to $6 per barrel, or equivalent to the current brand price of $76 per barrel. We will be producing 130,000 pearls from now, which will increase to 300,000 pearls by the end of 2025. All of these are being produced from northern oil field. It goes back to the discovery of free gas and along with the discovery of the light type crude. Crete was the only oil country that was stuck with the type of crude oil and now it has added another type. Its quality is next to Algerian Sahara blend and Malaysian types, which are in the same range of Kuwaiti super light crude. This will open new markets for Kuwaiti's oil industry. It can now see customers in need of light, crude oil and products like gasoline. A volume of 130,000 pearls is small, but it will give customers the flexibility to blend with heavier type of oil or it can be blended with Kuwaiti crude depending on the customer needs wants that flexibility. For years, Kuwait was trying to sure type of crude from light crudes, but for some reasons is never dipped, or perhaps because of volume, reserve, and rate of recovery. It didn't justify the economics and constructions, storage tanks, and handled the light crudes from the north. The first shipment of Kuwait super light crude is heading to Asia, simply because of higher net back against the West and ample supply of sweet type of crude in the United States of America with the shell oils. This could be the beginning of more things to come like more free gas production and further exploration for lighter crude oil, which will also give our more flexibility. It's great news for Kuwait's oil industry after many years of waiting and explorations. It also meaning more income and revenue for the state treasury, as well as more challenges to come after this success, with hopes for more positive news. The Kuwait National Development Plan sets the nation's long-term development priorities. It's organized around five theme or desired outcomes and seven pillars or area of focus for investment and improvement. Each pillar has a number of strategic programs and projects that are designed to have the most impact on achieving the vision of New Kuwait. Let's look at the top social media highlights regarding Kuwait development projects. From Kona account, Development projects key to achieve Kuwait 2035 vision. And from Kuwait account, 80 to 90 percent of 48 important development projects solved. And from Global Islamic Economy account, Kuwait 2018-2019 development plan includes 20 large projects worth nearly 71.6 billion dollars. For more information or details regarding Kuwait development account, please visit the website on the screen. Kuwait Engineer Day 
Kuwait Engineer Day, the annual celebration applauding Kuwaiti engineers for their outstanding efforts and achievements and successful end of wars was organized by Kuwait Society of Engineers under the auspices of His Highness the Emir Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah. Today is a celebration and uh, a tribute to all engineers in, uh, in Kuwait that contributed to the development and uh, the establishment of Kuwait and co still contributing to the new Kuwait. Uh, today, is, today is a very special day because uh, it's under the patronage of His uh, Highness the Amir and we're very honored and happy to have uh, this uh, patronage and uh, uh, today is also special with uh, recognizing some of the partners that were uh, with us the past year and partners of our success the last year. We did so many projects uh, with those partners that shaped the workforce in Kuwait and shaped so many uh, new technologies in Kuwait and still we are doing uh, projects uh, with them. Uh, one of our uh, latest projects is uh, a station to provide uh, electrical power for electrical cars and it's going to be the first in Kuwait. Just uh, guidance for the government and the people to see what uh, an electrical car is and an electrical uh, uh, power station for uh, uh, the car itself. And it's going to be the first in Kuwait uh, by the end of this month. Also, we're working uh, individually for the 2035 uh, plan, Kuwait plan. And we have uh, a conference on the uh, end of April with the very esteemed uh, speakers from all over the world. Uh, we're going to talk about the challenges of uh, infrastructure, what type of inst infrastructure that we need uh, for Kuwait 2035. Basically, uh, Kuwait Engineer Day is uh, sponsored and done by Kuwait Society of Engineers for all engineers and all engineers are welcome. We are hoping to reach every engineer in Kuwait and reach their success and be proud of them and uh, celebrate with them this day. And if we didn't reach uh, some people or some engineers this year, we hope we reach them next year, inshallah. And you are all most welcome and nice having you with us. The event was held at the Abdul Hussein Abdul Rada Theater, where the Minister of Social Affairs and Labor, Saad Al Kharaz, inaugurated the ceremony on behalf of His Highness the Emir. Attendees included the members of the Engineering Society, government officials, and dignitaries and distinguished guests.